What's happening? Welcome to another installment of the corner where we talk all things music. And on this episode of the corner, we're gonna be reviewing reviewing Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> what reviews? The butcher coming, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He was like, say that again. An Ab Souls Herbert album. <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna kick off with E40 and now. E40 and now. That's what I thought. Look, that's exactly what I think about this whole album. It was E40 and now. Yeah. This was the best song on the album to me. Big Subwoofer? Yeah. I, I like that song a lot. It was one of my top songs on this thing. But my favorite one was Have a Nice Day. I thought that was nah. the worst song. Have a Nice Day? Yeah. Uh, Let's go to I Have, like a, nice Have a Nice Day. Day a lot. So what, what was your your numbers? Hold on. Let me First re- off, refresh my memory Have a Nice Day. I will go out and say I do like the title. You know, Mount West I, that was yeah. cool. That was cool. Because I feel like clever. all four of them have an argument for being on the Mount Rushmore West Coast rapper. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that was clever. Some people might throw a Mac Dre or Tupac up there, but I felt like it was aptly named. Well, Tupac, <sighs> does he have enough material to be a, a GOAT, a legend? Listen, bro, don't, well, yeah. don't, don't do We this. know that. Like, well, we compare, know he does, though. Compared to, compared to them being active and having so much music. But no, still, I mean, the content. Uh, or, is it just, or is it just his small catalog? Yeah. Quality just, over quantity. Yeah, Tupac's content. Like, he don't have, I think Too Short and 40 got well over 15 albums. They probably got eight. Probably more than that. I think Too Short got like twenty or so now. E40 probably up the same thing because he was he was. I don't know about Snoop, but releasing like four albums, like a four pack. He was doing. He did that a couple years in a row. So that's eight right there. If you were to ask somebody walking around, like you know, who would you put on Mount Rushmore West Coast rap? I think a lot of people would go have Tupac on it. Yeah. Now the rest of them, it'd be like some people might say E40 if you're in that area. Some might say Too Short. Some might say Snoop. You know, Ice Cube. So what would you change for this? For the rap Mount Rushmore. Uh, if I was doing West Coast rap, yeah. You know how I feel about Messi. Messi? <laughs> Mes- Messi or Mazi? Mazi ain't making Mount Rushmore. Oh. Messi Marvin's West Coast? He's yeah. oh, I thought he was here. Exactly. I thought he was here. My sentiments is that. You thought Messi Marvin was here? <laughs> yeah. Why? The way people love him so much here, I thought he was from here. Nah. I think Missouri is like just the divide line for like rap. Like you get to Missouri and Kansas City is like more West Coast, but as soon as you get to St. Louis, it's strictly East Coast. I mean, that's true. That's why it's Midwest, but a lot of people do like West Coast rap here. Me. But no, nah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't want to take nobody off, put nobody off. I just thought it was cool because I'm like, all four of them, I could see them having an argument for being on the Mount Rushmore. West Coast I take rap. too short off. Too short. I like too short. Well, who like would you put short. instead? For me, it, it, it'd be Snoop, it'd be Snoop, Q, Pac, and Nip. For me, that's true. I'd for this, for sure. Because this is like an age thing too. Like these are some of they. Probably these are the, these are the people who put us on the rap. Like the foundation of this yeah. rap, mostly here. You know what I'm saying? And even although on this album, I per se didn't really like a lot of the two short verses. It, too short past stuff. I always really like Too Short. Too Short was top name pimp stuff. Yeah, he like, made it cool uh, to say bitch. Yeah. 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 I mean, when you was uh, a pimp, he was talking that pimp stuff. I when was you was never a pimp. pimp, but I was. You know, I used I used to be a pimp. Calling them bitches though. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I don't know if I did that either, <laughs> but like, so in that essence, I don't have an issue with him being on this album. I don't have any an issue with any of them being on the album. I did not per se like. I did not enjoy Ice Cube any of his verses think, on this album. All right, so here's here's what I want. Was it because it wasn't like it's Cube enough? Elementary no, it's just Ice yeah. Cube. We talked about this a long time ago. I think we just at a point now as we getting older that our rappers icons are getting old. And it sound old. This is in ice. That's what I was gonna get to with my review. This, this sounds, album sounds like they're old. Yeah, except for E40 though. Like I feel like if this was like an E40 album with the beats that were on the beats are E40. Really it might good. Run. It might run. I thought this would be a really good album. I liked probably ninety percent of E40. But I can't say here. that I've listened to an E40 album since 
What's the one that had mustard and mayonnaise on? That's the last full length Hall of Game. The last full length. I haven't E-40 listened to album. a whole E40 album like that either. Connected and respected but, and be legit. I rock that all the time. E40. Mm. I've always liked Guilty E40 by association. Though. Like I always like E40's music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like even if I didn't like a, like a whole album, like it was certain songs on there where I was like, nah, yeah, that's talk- E40 can he still go? Yeah. Uh, to me, he was the best performer on this whole album. Well, loyalty and betrayal. That was. All right, let's get down to it, man. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, you know, if y'all want to come okay. for me like y'all did on Nas, I guess I'll take those punches. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a five. Mm. That's fair. It was uh, I like all four of them individually. But when you put them all together, it just didn't sound right. Like the al- like the a lot of beats on the album sound like a beat I would hear E40 on, but they don't necessarily sound like a beat I want to hear Ice Cube on. I don't. I think Ice Cube was probably the worst on the album. I didn't like Ice Cube like not one Ice Cube verb on, verse on this whole album. <laughs> Nigga said yeah. verb. Yeah, I, That's I, true. I, I did <laughs> like one Cube. I, mean, I was like, to me, I felt. I didn't think he was bad. It just it I didn't sound he like was Ice out Cube. Of place. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, 40 yeah. was easily the best. Yeah, I like E40. Like, listening to the song, so me, you gave it a five. I say it's probably. I can't go too hard. Too much I can't go that. higher because I can't. <laughs> 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 you know, there's some stuff that I didn't put in that seven range that people hold at a high regard around here. So, you know, to me, this album was probably. I'll give it a six. I'm, and I'm I'll give it a six because, like I said, I think I like. To me, the beats were dope. Most of the beats. I hated Tribal. That was the worst song on the album to me. Tribal. That's that's your skipper? That was the skip. Let me see. I Let thought Tribal was trash. Oh, but okay. other than that, like just the beats alone, I mean like like I was saying, I was in the garage chilling. I'm like, yo, this I like this. Well you listening to yeah, my AirPods. Oh. Yeah. Who produced these tracks? You know anything about the production? No. Uh, you saying production was bad? It's probably Battle Cat. Battle Cat's one of the. No, I mean the production was West Coast, West Coast on point. Coast yes. Music to me. Like it you all felt saying? palm tree, low riders. It was, yeah. yeah. It but felt like, like that. As I always have said this too, though, but like that's the music. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I've been West Coast biased my whole life. Mm-hmm. So like when I heard the beats, I'm like, oh, this sound like the old school West Coast music that I like listening to. I think it sounded like more of the Bay West Coast. I didn't think yeah. that though, because I'm, like it's a Dr. Dre track in there. It sounds like an old Dr. Dre track that they've been holding on to. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's but I, I this just listening to the music though. I'm like it's a, it's to me it's retro West Coast beats. To this I game. just I just think I think they about fifteen years too late. And, and that that's true. Like beef, like I said, like listening to old too short stuff. Like he didn't. Freaky Tales and all that stuff was great, amazing stuff. But like now, it's to a point where this dude's an old man still talking yeah. about. It. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know man. if I look at that the same way. And E40 is the same way, but like I feel like the, his rap style is it can it's been able to survive through the changing times where the others maybe. But like I don't even like many of Snoop's verses on this. No, Snoop you know? was just kind of like and, it felt like Snoop was just like the the, the main attraction. Because Snoop is probably the most popular one out of well, the group. Well, yeah, he's probably one of the most popular rappers, period. Yeah. So did y'all think that their verses were bad, or they just didn't, like, mix well? I didn't like any. Uh, some of the content was like, oh, I know you're not doing that. You're kind of an old man a little bit. But, I mean, I don't listen well, to no album too. and think, like, you did everything you said in that verse. Yeah. Oh. I, I never We just talked like, about that. A, no, but I'm like, it's some stuff. It's a cute verse in here. Although I thought the verse, like his rapping was trash, but like if you listen to what he's talking about, it's like basically the same stuff, kind of like everybody else is. I think right the now. biggest like, thing for me is stuff and get the middle, stop being, take the middleman out and get your money straight up. I don't even like look that. at Cube as a rapper no more. Oh, yeah, most people don't. Oh, because you look you at like, if you ask somebody at a certain age, yeah, I Cube true. was a rapper. They gonna be like, no, he's an actor. On <laughs> That's true. Because I'm like, because I'm like. He's a political activist. He's a businessman, a director, movie star, pretty much. Yeah. Probably my kids will only know Ice Cube as the barbershop guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know. Some of it. I mean, it was cool. If you did this and like took out Cube and Snoop, told them to do an album together, kept E42 short and throw in like a Be Legit or somebody like that. I don't like Be Legit that much. 
I think he got a great chemistry with E40 when they were the album. Yeah. They're probably, they they do. done like 70 they million the, albums. Kind of the same, yeah. yeah. But it's the same style. To, to me, it was just like the styles didn't match up that well. Like, it was it was different Ice Cube, flavors. I was like, man, I don't, know, I don't know if I like you on like this Bay Area, West Coast beat. And Snoop, you know, I was like, ah, oh, you seem nice. It wasn't bad. I was like, I don't, I don't like you on this beat. This is like if you went and made a value meal. At four different restaurants, you got a burger from McDonald's, fries from Wendy's, <laughs> a drink from. Uh, that actually might work. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> but you would get the burger from Wendy's and the fries from McDonald's. That's true. And whatever. Yeah. And the nuggets from Chick Fil A. But I'm just saying yeah. it's different. You're right. Yeah. It's just kind of like different, different styles. We are not a food together. podcast. We are. But we love it though. We, we love food. I don't know where you get the drink from. <laughs> don't get it from uh, a slushy from Sonic or something. Uh, you might got some. You come out with some decent. But yeah, this was, I just, like, kind of like you said, like, it might have been 15 years too late. No, he said that. I, I think it was right. Uh, yeah. I actually, well, I did not dislike it. Like, I didn't get any niggas just, zeros it, out here. It just felt, it just felt, dated. it just felt dated. <laughs> yeah. Felt dated. I didn't think it was bad, but it just wasn't like, oh, gotta hear that again. Like, no, I didn't, I, I never felt that. I never felt that. Some years just be like, but yeah. Big Sub will probably make my playlist in the. Yeah. Uh, That's the only song like on here. I was like, I like that. Probably make my playlist. I like the free game, free game, free up game. and down, yeah. which is what we listen to now. And I think I liked the lace up. Lace up was good. And I think I liked was it activated? I liked activated and Big Sub will for. For the most part, it was okay. E forty say the first rap. So what is this right now? Up and down. Yeah. See, this sounds like an E40 song. It's an E40 led track, bro. Like, yeah, it sounds like E40 well, I feel all like the all way. of them. Yeah. Are, though. But that's I because think... he's easily, to me, he's easily the best rapper on all of the tracks. Because he's, I think he's the most active one out of all of them. Even if that though, it's Keep just like his. Sharp. his mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like his, the, his rap style can, is still. Really? Nobody, Can nobody's be. ever tried to imitate it. It's not worn down. It's different. It's just him. Yeah, it's, and it's different, and it's still. But you can put it on music nowadays, and it still sounds cool. He still rocks with it. it like when he cool. was with when, when, he, when he was on Big Sean, I don't fuck with you. It, it worked. It worked. <coughs> I don't know. I never. I don't think I. We good over there. Right. If somebody put this on while you were sitting around yesterday, where's all at uh, my cousin's house shooting pool and shit? He played one of these songs. I'm like. It works. Good like mixer. It, when you're in the right environment, it works. Got a nice beat to it. Good mixer music. Yeah. You just I'm talking shit. I was crit walking in my kitchen. I ain't gonna lie. Really? Yeah. You, you were? What? Did you th- hey, okay. Th- you still got it though? A little bit. My, my bad. knees don't work like they used to. Yeah, well, I, say you still got I ain't got Megan's knees. A little bit. Yeah, you know shit. Hey, man. <laughs> it's not too many crib walking hey, out west though. But does they blood? They blood out there. It, is, it does appear that yeah. the population is more. I don't know. That what shit, man? I just what? say. What'd you say? <laughs> no, like he said, that they not cripping much more out west. He just made that. Well, I don't know, there, man. They are probably They this blood like now. I don't be know now, but I they just got they. The crips were the biggest gang ever, though. That's why everybody was a crip. Mm-hmm. I was a crip. I'm gonna reserve my five. Let me listen to this another week. I'm gonna go five right now. Five right now. What you got, Chris? Me? Yeah. This is probably a hard listen. For you. Can I say zero? Huh? I'm giving zero. <laughs> and he shout out Kansas City. Right? He just did. That's, that's what caught my attention. <clears throat> I don't. I don't feel like I can give it a zero. But I, it's right around the five. It's the middle of the way. No, just be honest, man. I try to listen to it as somebody that likes these artists. No, but listen, you can't no, do that you if you don't like them. Mm-hmm. It's on, it's only your brain. Just like I try to be like non biased when I listen to stuff. Wait, how are you biased going into it? Like you just don't like E Forty the person? No, I mean, they're all good people. They're not out here killing people. Well, like, how you know your bias going? I mean, into I guess, it. but I don't. I'm not really a fan of any of these artists. Okay, I mean, never have. So I, I don't go. That's like. I go listen to an album. If I don't like you, why am I listening to the album? I can say you've bought every That's strange a, a album from every one of those artists. I bought one E40 album, World Team Betrayal. Um, I know you had that too short album. Mm-hmm. The one With I the liked. orange cover. Yeah. I like so it, it kind of sounds like you were All I bought that because Jay Z was featured on one of those songs. <laughs> Fair enough. That's before we can download. Um, 
And then I bought that Ice Cube, that Say Hello, that song that has said, mm. has Say Hello on there. Look at these niggas with attitudes. Hello. Yeah. I started this right. gangster shit. So oh, going I give five. it a, I'm I'm going five. It, I give it a wow. five or a 5.5. Just because they're, you know, they are you great a, you know, artists heavy West overall. I could only really give it a six. You can't so. give them an extra half point just because what they did in the past, man. That's so true. So you gave them a point just for putting their name on them. Yeah, on, nah. That <laughs> on the count. test. On the wonder list. For everybody putting their egos aside. I just, none know, of these songs is. made my playlist, so. That's the way you can judge it too. Oh, and he put Nas on his playlist. How many songs made your playlist? <laughs> Just the uh, one. But I'm not gonna say I've heard a lot of things worse. It? So that's why I'm like, like it was, you know, halfway decent. Okay, wise of oh, big subwoofer. Mm. They didn't make my playlist, but if I had, if you got like the uh, whatever it is on Spotify, you go in the little hit the little gym one, the workout, and this song came up. It's gonna be a good song for the workout. What song is that? Any of them. Like they all uh, got a nice beat. Because when you're working out, all you need is the beat at that yeah, point. Yeah, they all got a nice beat. Tuning it out. I didn't think they were any of them was terrible, but it was just like I expected more from you four. I just didn't hear any song where I was like, man, that's a banger. I'm, I, I think, gotta replay I think, that. Let I me push it I back. This, Listen to it I again. Think if I play this while working out, I think I'd like it. I think I'd like it. Probably so. What do you think about it now? Yeah, about a six. Oh. So we six and fives around here. Yeah, it was a good effort. Wow, now you know you're talking <laughs> shit. I get participation trophy. Up. You use the effort word. You showed boy. up. We got to give you that. You got off the bus. Y'all tried, man. I mean, it sounded good. Like putting four superstar, iconic superstars together on Just one album. Just didn't blow you away, huh? I think the music, the music was really good. It gave you the West Coast feeling. It's just. I'm going to see if it grow on me, man. I'm going to listen to it some more. But you got to think, like, if these are like. I'm sure there's people out there. These are their top four rappers ever in history. Yeah, somebody they probably loved it. Older people, somebody you know, loved yeah. This. Like I think my, probably my uncle might might love this album. Yeah, like these these could be somebody's list. Like hey, I these love are the all goats. four of them as rappers, but when you put them all together, I was like, yeah, oh, I don't know. If that's I like true. I got styles together. That's a good so point. Would too, anybody though. on that album make your top five all time play all time rapper list? All time, I don't know. Shit, probably, I I probably say yeah, but if you ask me no more, I probably say no. So it wouldn't be Snoop. Listing. It wouldn't be Snoop. I tell you that. If it was gonna be anybody, it'd probably be E Forty. Mm. But let me think. I don't know. Yeah, he could probably get up there. Mm. Oh, and I did buy that Snoop album. Game is to be sold. Told that was not a to be album. told. That was that I bought the last album on meal. No Limit. Yeah, that's. That was the first album. On <laughs> yeah, no I bought that the last meal. <laughs> That the last meal, I think that. I bought that one too. So I did have two that one had I ever bought. It. Yeah. You probably bought Doggy Style too. No, I, didn't. I had Doggy Style. Doggy I'm Style bought. was good. But that's my mama didn't want me to a have it because album. of the cover. Yeah. By most. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you know, that. That's the best. Best of luck to you, gentlemen. <laughs> that's that. I, I think they're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> They like best best luck to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your punk ass views. <laughs> With your little podcast. <laughs> you know you start throwing a little yeah. one. Yeah. Don't right. talk about the business. Your little little. Friends. <laughs> We're gonna go over to Absol, man. You should have did this one first. Oh, Absol. We say the best for last. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. 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 Tough. Let me pull this up. So how'd y'all feel about this one, man? I ain't really like it, man. But how far did you get, though? I got to about six. Bro, do it count for you on this at all? I, I couldn't, bro. I was up, too. I'm listening to this last night. Like, this is when I discovered this whole camera situation. So it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. But I'm still up, because I'm in the garage just now coming off the other album. Mm, let me tell you about trash. Oh, it's trash? No, I didn't think it was trash. I think it was actually decent. Like he can it rap, good, bro. It's just like, oh, it's just not my style. Mm. But I, I wasn't like he was terrible. I was like, oh, this. I guess why somebody would like this. It was pretty good. I think, I think for him finally releasing the album after a long time, six years, and Kendrick Lamar being gone from TDE, it's a good effort. Maybe that's part of it. What can they do with his no album? Idea about this guy. Because like. I, I feel like y'all be of, cheating, bro. Like y'all be taking stuff into account. Cheating, cheating about what? I like. I mean, he, I like Kendrick Lamar being gone got to do with this man's album. Like, because he's the leader yeah. of TDE now. Because he's the, he's the front runner. Yeah, in but my eyes. is his album good on its own merits or not? I don't care about. No, Kendrick it's Lamar's it's good album. on its own merits. But I'm just saying, as 
as you coming out being the face of TDE, in my opinion, that's a great effort. That's a great album. When you say great effort, it, it makes me question. Great what you album. Was good. Okay. I gave it a nine. Fuck, you know. <laughs> I gave it a nine. I loved it. Really? I, I thoroughly good, enjoyed man. from top to bottom. I enjoyed this album a lot. Really? I did. You know what? Where are my goddamn AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed See, it. Throw my AirPods right there. Uh, I I gave it a seven point two. We see. It had a few skips, but I do like his lyricism. He's always been a good lyric. He's he's you know, one he's of my. Always he's got, always been one of my favorite favorites nice from lyrics. TDE. Yeah. Whenever he popped out on anybody's album, I, I was tuning in. He's good. He's good. Well, you just throwing you be throwing knives around, man. Just no, throwing them around. No, I don't. I feel no. Nah, see, nope. So, what'd you give it? I would go six to six and a half. I didn't think he's a good rapper. The beats were good. Not my style of rap, but I'm not gonna count that against you. What is what is what is what did his rapping? What about his rapping didn't you like? Uh, it just seems kind of like a little too laid back and mellow, honestly. Hmm. Which is a cool thing sometimes, but just. What what I was looking for there, uh, I don't know. Best song on there I thought was uh, where is it at? Artist Seduction. So it was West Coast too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it sounded no, like strictly East that. Coast. To it me. sounded like some. East Coast. I, I, I don't, I don't know. If he's, like I don't know some, if he's West Coast. Uh, I think he is. I think he is from California. Like more on the lines of like Talib Kweli and him. That's what I thought. But and I like Carson, them. California. Yeah, but I, I don't know. It wasn't doing it for me. But I mean, it's kind of like that. West Coast rappers that are more lyrical. Kendrick Lamar, obviously. He's, I'm he's not with their group. Uh, if you turned this song, yeah, I wouldn't be like, mad. I'm like, oh, he's got some bars. Like, uh, well, but I wouldn't I, just be maybe like, maybe I was this. tripping, but I'm still sitting here listening. I mean, he got bars. Yeah. I just feel like some of the songs he missed. Like, it had a few skips on there. But I like, like, I like uh, Do Better, uh, FOMF. I like that. Uh, Go Off. Go off was good, you know. Uh, is this Hollandaise, this is but that was F-O-M-F. Hollandaise was what the first single, or that was no, the first single. The first Joey single. Badass, Ain't Neek. Joey Badass, uh, dude Neek. from uh, Power. 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 Power, yeah. I mean, uh, Kane, Kane, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's unique, unique, unique. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you said Neek, yeah, I can't hear you, bro. You're on the side with the <laughs> airport. <laughs> um, Joey Badass, his verse was good too. I liked him. I like Joey, Joey Badass, badass. he's cool. I thought it was. I thought it, yeah, it was just really sound like the East Coast rap that I didn't really listen to. To me, mm. so I you, think you would like that though. Like, I feel so like you, you gave would it like a six, six. And I a gave half. it a seven point two. Seven point two. What you got? Where'd you get the point two? I want to know. Just don't even ask no more. No, I want to know. Just don't even ask no more. You really want to know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just. How I say the name of this song? Foof. Fuck out my face. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's cool. It's an acronym. <laughs> it's an acronym. Fofa. Hey. I just said that. I said that was one, but you Chris, can't hear I me. Told oh. you I can't hear you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say it loud enough. Like that sounds cool. Actually, I'm gonna hold my. I'll, I'll let you know next. Uh, no yeah, report listen, card. Like, that was cool. Listening to it, bro. I'm telling you, I was like, I think so. So the I thing like is, bro. I never listened to two albums in the same day because, like, if I like one, because like maybe when, that's what it was. Because I was like, like I said, I'm in the, I'm jamming to that yeah, other you, you, one. You, you, went, you in so the West Coast like mind. for it to go the other way for me. Maybe that was it. But it's kind of like, like this ain't it. it's kind of like when you binge something on Netflix and you go looking for something again, you, nothing hits. I just binged the recruit. It was a good show. This is FYI. but this is an album you definitely have to at least listen to twice, if not three times, because there's a lot of lyrics that he'll say that kind of go over your head at first. Like, you'll be listening oh, man, to the song, to listening that. to the beat, and he'll say something that you don't really get to the second time. It's like a movie. You watch a movie for a second time, you'll see parts that you what didn't. Say I don't watch a movie the first time I think that was trash me watching it again. I, mean, that's that's true. I did that. I did that with um, Titanic. That Chris, Chris Rock movie. <laughs> Titanic. Yes, yeah, with Top 5. Yeah. I, the first time I seen Top 5, I thought it was dumb. What was Top 5? It was the movie with him and, um, what's that girl's name? Angela Bassett. I don't White remember skin. the movie. Huh? White skin. <laughs> Sonia Lathan? No. She was in Light It Up with Usher. Rosario Dawson. Mm. I like Rosario Dawson. And um, like she was like a reporter doing a, basically like a day with him so she can do another one. 
And then he hated like her coworker because he always gave him bad reviews. And then, but it turns out it was her. It was like an alter ego of hers. Oh. And like they spent this whole day, and it was like him finding a love of comedy again, things like that. I remember that. So when I watched it in the movie theaters, me and Monica went to go see it. I'm like, this movie dumb as hell. But then I watched it at home, and I was kind of like chilling. Maybe it was kind of early in me and Monica, so we was, I don't know. Maybe oh. I was more focused on yeah. like trying to be. A, Good boyfriend or a good dude trying to still ring whatever you do, in. don't fart. <laughs> you want some more popcorn? Yeah, you know, so one of those type deals. <laughs> I like to put the M and M's in the popcorn. I watched it. I That's watched it at hard. home. It, it was years of like recently, probably like two or three months ago. I watched it here again. I was like, oh, I like this movie. Mm. So, so what made you? What made you sit there and watch it after you didn't like it? Bro, it was probably like one o'clock in the morning. You just couldn't find a remote and feel like getting up. Nah, it was probably like one o'clock in the morning. Wasn't nothing else on. So when I go try to find stuff on TV, I always go to three fifty five so I can get the Showtime. Mm. Skinamax. And it was <laughs> Skinamax. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, that synchronized. And, uh, you know they got that Showtime BET yeah, channel. Yeah. It was on there, so I just stopped at it and just watched it. And I was like, nah, that's not that bad. And I thought that about the last Black Man in San Francisco. The first time I watched that, I thought it was done. I don't think this CD is that. Me personally, I think it what, was really good. The man. last Black Man in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. That's racist as hell. <laughs> it's a movie, bro. <laughs> That's about to be a drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie about how there's no more black people in San Francisco, so you might be right. Y'all push this out, Chris. Y'all, why not? <laughs> I didn't do none of that. Y'all doing it here, too. They don't, oh, we was just well, talking Y'all get sidetracked. <laughs> nah. He said it. I named the movie. <laughs> and you said it was racist as hell, which, racist caused, the, movie. which caused the conflict. Did anybody else give this a nine? Uh, no, I can't give it a nine. It had a few, it had quite a few skips. It's about my face. I like the way that sounds. So that song right there could get it up to a four, probably. Almost. Which almost one's better? <laughs> What'd you give it? F O M F. Right now I'm like sitting there like a two. Oh, okay. F O M F or G O M D. <laughs> they should have did that. Probably. I like that one better. <laughs> I think. Well, let me see. I don't have them all listed off, but what eighteen total? I say probably. Eight of them are so were skips. Wow. Eight? Eight seven. Skips? Probably like seven Eight. or so. So how could you give it a seven? seven? Cause I really like the songs. So you that... like ten songs. So this is like scissor for you, like that first half. Yeah. Though. Kinda. Yep, you're right. Nah. Cause her C D that first what... that first half was the same label, but non worthy. Way. Same label. Yep. So they got somebody over there in charge <laughs> doing this shit on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what label are they on? T D E. SZA is on TDE too. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they over there like, nah, we don't. Is she from the West Coast? We're not doing. She's from St. Louis. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. You act like he's supposed to know that. He did act like he's supposed to know that. Like, nigga, I don't. He know went at you hard, that. bro. Like St. Louis. <laughs> you know the arches, nigga. Like that's like three and a <laughs> half right, hours away. St. Louis, I know Murphy <laughs> Lee, Nelly. <laughs> 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 That's Kali, like, that's that's like, like it. Remember when the St. Louis for New Year's? Yeah, I, I just she did a show. Where did I just see it? Oh, I, it was on. It's in my uh, Facebook memories. Uh -huh. It was like I, I had. I guess I'm headed to the loop for New Year's. Then I had <laughs> a bunch of comments like, "I want to go." <laughs> no, that <no> trip. <laughs> I was single at the time. This was like 2009, oh, okay. 2010. Actually, I had just got. Recently, I don't uh, think I was single. Se I recently was single. separated. I was single. Yeah, but you I weren't had a ring on it. Did she on. know you? You were weren't single. ring on it, so that's single. Yes, we were. We were single. We were single. Yeah. Are you telling? You keep telling yourself that it was. Boop boop boop. Nine and a half, huh? <laughs> so how many? Nah, he said just nine. nine. Giving, I don't do the halves, man. Okay, Nas getting up to classic album area, man. I gave Nas a ten, bro. Yeah. He did give Nas a ten. I think I gave Nas a, over nine. It was like. We still getting slander for Nas. Fuck, yeah, I'm stingy with my, with so my that comment man. came through and I'm like, damn, was our scissor review that bad? Then I was like, oh, this is stuff by Nas. <laughs> oh, they left another battle. I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it was still getting comments. I appreciate on you we for like listening. We like old heads out of touch now. That's what they <laughs> said. That's yeah. exactly what the <laughs> comments said. Really? Because this nigga Nas is almost 50. The two old <laughs> niggas on the couch is what he called you. <laughs> and I'm the oldest one. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to act like he didn't put out some bullshit. I can't do Taking it. Taking them. So have y'all listened to that since? Nope. No. Uh, I listened like a couple songs since. Did it need you want to change, change a motherfucker? You want to up your thing. review? Didn't change a thing for me. <laughs> your bro. number? You want to up? Didn't change a thing for me. So. I don't see how. If I, anything, I might. Take I want to rate it higher. Can I rate it higher? I'm gonna yeah, stand on what I said. Cause you do. Tory Lanez had a better album. 
It was it's, a great album. Man. It's two different types of music. Man. We're not yeah. going to go through that again. Yeah, no, I true. said what I said. Everybody knows it. Leave some more comments down below. Everybody I do. We knows. do enjoy you tuning into that episode. Everybody knows that if you listen to Tory Lanez after listening to Nas, we know what kind of mind state. <laughs> I know what type of mind state too. Like, <laughs> what does that even mean? It's like you conscious, but you want to party with the bitches all at the same time. They just be acting like Nas just woke their life up. Like I used to be a crackhead. I listened to Nas. But well, Nas used to get hated on so much too. That's just, that's the crazy part. Get hate on what? First off, as beats for dropping that. That is not hate if you really picking bad beats though, man. I like, didn't think they he did. They beats. always said that he had he was a bad beat picker. Like if you picking bad bad beats, that's not hate. Like everybody, you know. And then also dropping an album every two years, and now he's been consistent dropping an album every year. For I don't get less a than a that. year, four like, albums in two years. Yeah, I feel like he might have rushed that last one. <laughs> no, you're one of the few that feel like that. Just keep it hundred. Could have kept but that to yourself. We could have left right. that part two. Nas so review part I don't, two. I don't know what's coming out on Friday. I don't think. Is it my turn to pick? I don't think it's anything on my radar right now. Worthwhile. I'm picking. So I say Swift. since it'd be the last. Would it be the last quarter of the year? Yeah. No, it won't. Uh, New Year's Sunday. We yeah, so we probably, New probably that Monday. That's on y'all. Come to the Weird we'll Ones Podcast it. New Year's Eve party. It's going to be lit. Right here on YouTube. <laughs> it's going to be lit. We hey, could, but we could do that. Alien gang. Record Saturday night going into And go Sunday. crazy. And, kicking it. and go crazy. <laughs> Wait, record New Year's? I'm not doing that. Are y'all crazy? <laughs> what? Record on New Year's Eve? No, no, on Saturday going into Sunday. Yeah, that's New Year's Eve going into New Year's. Yeah. Going into New Year's Eve, not going into New Year's. Are you right? talking about uh, we're going to be the New Year's is Saturday. Let's talk about that later. We still, the camera still rolling. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, uh, New Year's is on Sunday. New Year's Day is on Sunday. Yeah. Next okay. week, we're reviewing Taylor Swift. We not. <laughs> Ever. As long as I, this is the corner, it would never. When, when, it turns to the, when it turns to the block or something. Or down the street. When it turns to the corner. When it turns to the box Chevy and, a, and What about a, and a Adele? Deuce, deuce. What about Adele? Can we review Adele? For what? I don't know. It's nothing. It's not new. Has she dropped an album since she's been skinny? Wow. <laughs> Wow, Chris. that's it. That's all, y'all. Peace and love. We out of here. I can't believe you didn't say that. <laughs>